Okay, the unit of measure that we use for figure drawing, any kind of drawing, also cartooning, is we use the measure of heads. So here we go. Set the human figure, seven and a half heads tall. One head down to the bind of the sternum, or what you would call the, the breasts. One head down to the navel. See, and one head down to the pubic arch. A head and a half down to the knee, and a head and a half down to the bottom of the foot. And there you go. Okay? Now, that would be for the human. If you're going to do more of a Peter Pan type character, then it would be five heads. So let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five. There you go. But watch, if you're going to do the cute cartoon character, two and a half heads. So there you go. One, two, there you go. So if you're not careful, what could happen is you could bring home a drawing. Your mom could say, you know what, honey? You're dating a cute cartoon character. You say, I know, mom, but isn't it cute? But honey, it's a cartoon character. And there you go. See? So it's all about proportion. Proportion's key when you're doing a drawing. Okay? You have to make that head even bigger. Two and a half heads tall. Cute cartoon characters. Now, if you want to get into the superhero, which would be my proportions, it'd be about ten heads tall. I'm about ten heads tall with the ideal perfect body. And that's why I'm only showing you my hand as I do these drawings. There you go. Welcome to the world of cartooning. Okay, so that's proportions. But what happens if the figure is going back in space? Let's take a look. Moving on.